And that day, Klaus had got a new car. He'd just taken delivery of a new FJ. So I said, would you like to take me to the vets? So he drove us down to the vets. We went in. We collected the cats. Um, he put the cats in the back of the car. I got in the passenger seat, and he got in the driver's seat. He didn't even close the door. He didn't even switch the ignition on. And then he just said to me, I feel dizzy. So I said, well, if you feel dizzy, I'll drive. And he went, no. And then he just sat there. And then all of a sudden, he fell back in the chair and, uh, and then slumped towards me in the passenger um, seat. I pushed him a couple of times, thinking, oh, he's fainted, because it was very hot that day. And, um, and then I realized it was more than a faint. I heard there's an emergency, so I rushed outside. And I see, you know, this lady told me that her husband is like, you know, not feeling well. Um, so I, I ran to the car and I saw, you know, this big guy is completely blue. Uh, he's not breathing. Uh, I felt his pulse. There was no pulse. I was just sitting behind the steering wheel and with, you know, uh, completely looking dead. But they carried on working with him. They bought electrical equipment out. They had a lead coming right across the road and um, they worked on him. They never gave up. They took it in turns. And when I went over the third time, um, they said they'd got a pulse and he was breathing. But I was just so anxious that the ambulance would come. It just seemed like to take for ages. Probably one minute was like an hour, you know. Uh, so I start uh, performing uh, CPR on him, just compressing his, his chest. The second doctor came out of the clinic, he heard about it, and he came also, he started uh, helping me. And then, uh, and then the third doctor and uh, almost all the nurses, the staff, start uh, helping us. I put the cage in the car, in the back seat, sat in the driver's seat, and from there on, it's like uh, somebody switched the light off. That's all I remember. Uh, I came back, well, I got back in the hospital. From there on, I remember everything. But in between, there was nothing. I would say thanks again. You can't, you don't know what to say, you know? Speechless. <laughs> I was glad they were there. It's really lucky. I just want to add that I wish if something happens like that to me, any time in the future, I would love to have somebody who's trained with CPR to be close by to help me. Because I think it'd make a big difference for a lot of people to know what to do uh, for their family members and for strangers even. So I really think that everybody should have a class of CPR as soon as possible.